More open and honest conversations about end-of-life issues are needed to address the mismatch of expectations between dying patients and their loved ones. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang says that this will complement ongoing efforts like ramping up the number of palliative care spaces as well as qualified workers. All this comes as the sector continues to grapple with manpower crunch issues amid the pandemic. Family members must feel comfortable that putting their loved ones through palliative care fulfills the desire of the dying and is in fact an act of love. It is a social attitude which requires time to shift. When it does, it will be for the better. Mr Ong said this on the back of a virtual palliative care conference which opened today. Associate Professor Cynthia Goh received the Lifetime Achievement Award for her contributions to the palliative care sector for more than three decades. A short film titled E Jie, which means second sister in Chinese, was also launched today. It depicts how a family cared for their loved one who's terminally ill. Concern on the healthcare manpower crunch resulting from the pandemic remains. But one expert says upskilling of workers will keep costs in check, even amid the rise in demand for palliative care. If this patient um, is at the end of life and he may not really need that subspecialty treatment, and the same treatment is managed in the community by a home hospice team, which often comprises many of the nurse that leads the, the, the consultation. And the nurse is trained to take care of a particular condition very well. You know, Then uh, the cost packed onto care is the nurse's cost and not the senior consultant cost in the hospital.